Hey everybody, on this gloomy, cloudy Thursday, I saw a good opportunity to get outside and uh, do some uh, live demonstrations. I've got a blueberry plant here at the Extension office that has uh, been in need of some attention and we're going to do a little pruning on it. And I thought I would just bring y'all along for the ride. Hope you enjoy. So this is our overgrown blueberry in question. As you can tell, it's just planted here in the middle of a lawn type area. We like snacking on the berries uh, when they come into season in the summertime and it's getting a little little wild and crazy. So, um, as you can see, I'm going to get up a little closer. You can tell which canes are the newer canes. The, those green canes, those are going to be your younger canes. And if you look closely, you can tell that some of them kind of have that brownish gray appearance. Those are going to be our older canes. So you're going to have the best production on um, those newer green canes. So we're going to do quite a bit of pruning. Also, it's pretty tall, so we're going to take quite a bit of height of those off as well. Um, and I will show you what that looks like when I get done. Okay, so this is our final product, and I feel like, you know, it's not perfect by any means, but this is, I feel, reminiscent of what we will see in many homeowners' gardens, blueberry plants that maybe have gotten overgrown or um, gotten too tall, um, so that we wouldn't realistically be able to pick all the crop that was on that plant. And so we have just uh, worked with what we had. I started off by removing any dead or diseased canes, and then I came in, and I removed quite a bit of, of older growth. And you can tell which is older because of that bark. See how gray it is and kind of cracky. And it'll also be the stemmier growth. See how much branching and, well, well, maybe a better word would be twiggy. So we have a lot of twiggy growth. So I went ahead and removed those older canes since they've been producing for several years. And we really want this to be a rejuvenation pruning. Uh, allow, give an opportunity for the plant to grow new canes. You can see several of those. See those green canes that we've left? I picked about three good sturdy new canes. I left about five old ones there to do the majority of our production. We still have uh, quite a bit of fruit buds. See these larger buds on the ends of the branches? That's where you're going to get your fruit production for the year. So we're still going to have a good harvest off of this plant even though I've removed a lot of that canopy. And then here I want to show you an example. Uh, you remember how tall that plant was. So we reduced the height of that to make it uh, manageable. So it would be a lot easier for us to pick. And you can tell this growth that I pruned off is, is not old growth. It does have green pliable stems and um, it was some younger growth, but still needed to be removed in order for us to get good airflow and allow an opportunity for those new canes to grow. And of course, uh, I'm a little behind, so it would have been best to do your blueberry pruning before they broke dormancy, before these leaves started emerging. Um, but I feel like maybe there are several homeowners out there who missed that window just as I did. So hopefully this will be helpful to you all. And um, if you have any questions, you can always give me a call. My name is Celeste Scott. I'm the UT Extension agent in Madison County, and I'm happy to help you anytime you need. If you have questions about horticulture, you can reach me at 731-668-8543 or email me at cscott52 at utk.edu. Have a good day.